Hello video creators, thanks for watching Storytium. In today's video I'm very excited to tell you more about Film Impact, in my opinion the best transition and creative tools add-on or plugin for Premiere Pro. These transitions are not effect presets or template projects. No, they are built-in transitions and tools in Premiere Pro and they tap straight into the Adobe Premiere Mercury engine. This means that most of them have hardware acceleration and render pretty fast. All the transitions and animations that you'll see in this video are made with Film Impact. But to be able to show you the real power of these plugins, I decided to pay Film Impact a visit, here in the Netherlands where I live as well. Jaap Harren Boerhoff is the founder of Film Impact and I asked him to tell a bit more about the history of the company. Uh, I've been a video editor uh, for over 20 years and I founded the Film Impact company about 10 years ago because I was missing out on some of the effects that were um, being used uh, for uh, Final Cut Pro back in the days. And I was missing out on some of the key video transitions that I saw on, on TV and I thought I'd create them myself. Well, Jaap Harm really brought his vision to life. Ten years later, the company has grown a lot and Film Impact is now an essential tool for many video editors, production houses and broadcast stations. And it's also used by some bigger YouTube channels like Alinus Tech Tips for example. But what is so special about these plugins and how are they different from other presets that are available on the market elsewhere? Film Impact's primary mission is to build high quality video transitions. And these are plugins. So these work natively within the Premiere Pro applications. So there are software add-ons and the best way I can show you is just to dive into Premiere Pro itself. Okay, we're in Premiere Pro and I'm in the effects workspace here. And you'll find all the uh, different video transitions uh, right in your effects library under video transitions. And you'll have, find different categories here. And I'm gonna play with the uh, Blur Dissolve Impacts, which is sitting in the Film Impact Essentials collection. Now, what I'm gonna do is simply drag and drop this transition to a cut in the timeline. And I've got two pieces of footage here. Let's see how this works out of the box. There you go. So we've got a blur dissolve happening here. And to modify this effect, just click this effect and head over to the effects controls tab, which is available if you don't see it straight away, just hit shift five. And what I'd like to do is put the playhead somewhere in the middle of the video transition and check out the surprise me button and see what kind of effect can be accomplished with this single plugin? And you can go back in time. If you hit Command Z, that's Control Z for Windows. So going back in time, there you go. This, this one is beautiful. There you go. And if you find the blurry amount too much, but you kind of like the colors here, just play with the controls here. Just, just drag a couple of sliders here, play with the chromatic aberration, which, which introduced this kind of nice RGB split effect. Play with the exposure to really accentuate the effect. And there you have it. So that's the blur dissolve impacts. Let me show you another one, this is the light leaks. And light leaks is one of my favorite video transitions. Again, I'm gonna drag and drop. So drag and drop, put the playhead in the middle, click the transition, and, and again, play with the surprise me button. And if you're happy with an effect, um, you, can, you can finalize and, and tweak, make some final modifications here. Uh, for instance, I'd like to do the, uh, the light amount from a natural angle. And there you go, you have a beautiful effect. And that's, that's a very cool and, and, and unique video transition. By the way, check out the yellow line. This is a real-time video transition. This uses the GPU acceleration, uh, which is CUDA, OpenCL, and Apple Metal. Hey, you're still here. So this means that Film Impact grabbed your attention. And that's awesome because by the end of this video I've got a special discount and this offer is only available here on Storytium. So stay tuned. So the next example I'm going to show you is how to reveal a logo. And I've put our own logo just on Video Track 2 and there you have it. And what I'm going to do is I'm opening up the animation series. 
and use the flip motion impacts. Again, I'm going to drag and drop to apply, drag and drop, and see how this reveals this logo. And it has a beautiful bouncing curve. And when I click the video transition, head over to the FX controls tab, you'll see this bounce curve visually here. And this is awesome. Uh, let's change the type to overshoot and, and, and play with the amplitude so I can ex exaggerate this particular effect and see how this works on this, this logo. And, and check out the, the motion blur here. So this is awesome, check it out. Let's play with the angle so you can see this is 3D motion blur and it's all happening in real time. Can you imagine the time saved if you would do a round trip to After Effects and, and create this kind of logo reveal? So this is awesome. So the final thing I want to show you is, is how to create cool animations. And for this example, I have a house drawn figure. And uh, what's special about this is that each and every layer contains a separate element. So I've got the roof element here, um, some vertical lines, and they're all being spread out. And I've got 16 different video tracks. So uh, let's apply the pop motion and uh, apply it to, the, to one of the roof elements and see how that works. Oh, that's, that's very nice. So it's doing kind of a popping effect and it's, it's working very well here. And let's apply it to each and every layer. Um, here's a trick. Just copy this transition, hit command drag. So that's control drag for Windows, paste it. And now we've got all the different video transitions applied to each and every track. And see how that works. There you go. So this is awesome. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stagger these transitions. Just selecting the, the layers, hit plus one on the keyboard which will move all the items just one frame to the right. And I'm gonna do that for each single layer, giving that stagger, just. There you go. Uh, just zoom in, I've got all the things nice and staggered. Um, I have the, the, the fill, the, the yellow fill here, this, which is the last layer. I'm going to apply a dissolve here and check, check out the result. There you go. As I promised, it's time for a special discount. If you go to filmimpact.com slash Torisium, you can claim three months of 50% off on the Big Bang collection. This collection gives you unlimited access to everything that Film Impact has to offer. In my country, this means 3 months for just over 25 euros. And a little disclaimer, pricing may be different in your country based on taxes or other price changes. Anyway, just follow the link in the video description to check your special offer. And we're not done yet. As I mentioned in the beginning, Film Impact does not only offer transitions, they also include some very handy tools. Yap Harm prepared another quick showcase, so let's check that out. Besides video transitions, we also offer tools. And one of the tools I want to show you is Motion Tween. And Motion Tween is a very cool tool which allows you to quickly move items like logos or text or uh, graphic items from position A to position B and do some cool stuff with that. Let me show you. In my previous example, I've shown you how to reveal the logo. And in this example, I'm going to show you how to move this logo to the upper left corner and keep it there as a kind of branding element. And normally, you would select the layer, go to the uh, motion controls and, and play with keyframes, right? So what if this could be easier? I'm going to make a cut around the point where you want this animation to start. And what I'm going to do is select the right part of the clip and now I'm going to set the final position. So just drag it here. And so there's my final position. So position A, position B. Now all we need to do is apply the smart tool called Motion Tween. And it's as easy as drag and drop. So drag, drop, play it back. And now Motion Tween took care of the movement between both positions. And clicking the video transition, 
will give you some of the options. Maybe change the type to overshoot and see how that works. There you go. Give it a little bit more time to breathe there. And even adding rotations is sometimes very nice uh, and playful. There you go. So this is a quick way to move graphic elements like logos, photos, move them around and really quickly work without keyframes and reposition elements. Thanks a lot Yaparm for this little film impact workshop. I'm using the film impact plugins for almost all my video projects. As a professional video editor, I think that it's definitely worth the monthly subscription fee. It really saves me a lot of time and it looks great too. Sure, there are many free and paid presets available for Premiere. I also offer them for free on my channel. Of course, they can be very useful, but nothing beats the premium built-in transitions with tons of customization options that work natively within Premiere. Anyway, that is all I had to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this film impact tutorial and if you did, then please don't forget to like the video. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.